Hi, everybody. It is May 28, 2019. Two important messages in this video. I'm starting with the most important, which is the video that I posted yesterday, March, uh, May 27, 28. Arkansas River to create catastrophic flooding. I started it with reading this comment, 714 clip included from Pantago 50 states it's flooding from 2010 I believe it's big and bad now but to go out of one's way to include deceitful information makes you ask questions okay um, I'm very happy to say that this has been cleared up uh, very important to resolve things immediately this was the response from the same person who wrote that comment Carol I didn't mean it I didn't mean you I went out of my way to make sure I named Pentago 50 as having posted the 2010 flooding pics right now. What I meant was why would someone dredge up old flood videos right now, obviously on purpose. That could easily be mistaken, but I'm so, so sorry you took it wrong. And I didn't make it, make what I meant clear enough while writing on the spur of the moment, catching that 2010 date. You are doing awesome work and I'm sure are feeling very sensitive and stressed at the enormity of these events and especially considering thousands and thousands of victims continuing to stay sound asleep while their lives are being totally destroyed. I apologize profusely for any further stress my statement caused you. My response, wow, thank you for clearing that up. I was sure you meant me and objectively um, not as a defensive measure. Objectively, yeah, one could perceive it as they being attacked instead of Pentago 50. So, um, yeah, I'll go on. I will clear it up in my next video, making a point to say I misinterpreted, misinterpreted what you wrote. Apologies go both ways. So much can get misconstrued. I'm so glad it was cleared up quickly. Thank you again. I forgot to say that I thought you were naming his channel to highlight what he wrote in the description box, which I missed. Um, I can go to bed with a good feeling. I love when things get worked out. Very cool. Yeah. Just this gives me hope. You know, when things are just immediately okay, We've got a problem. Let's resolve it. This is what I meant. Apologize. The other person, okay. I misinterpreted it. I apologize. And you go on stronger for it. It's very important. Very important. This is part of the nightmare that we are living. And it is everything is connected so for those of you who write oh just ignore it you're better than that what are you getting upset about just ignore the trolls not everybody is a troll stop writing everybody is a troll you know based on the comments and having done this for eight years um, hang on for one second neighbors here well that was about a half hour interruption and I can't remember where I was so I'm just uh, I'm very, very, this gives me hope. When people can resolve you know, their problems, it really gives me hope. And um, so, yeah, not everybody is a troll. And for those who say just ignore it and um, don't get upset, you know, by the trolls, um, listen. I've checked out some of the channels of, you know, comments like, you know, people who tell people what they should feel and what they should do and what they should say and how they should express themselves. And, uh, you know, the, why do you need to control people? What What's the point? And um, yeah, for those who say um, not to get upset, and then I check their channel page and they don't post anything, there's nothing on their channel. You have no idea what this experience is. And yes, sometimes the inundation of people criticizing you and um, 
it's hard. So, uh, and I did get one comment from someone who said, well, I caught that too, the, the 2010 in the description box, but I didn't want to say anything because um, I knew that you were tired and stressed. Uh, you know, one thing I want to say, I am stressed. I live stressed. My life did get destroyed. And watching everybody's life get destroyed is hard. Very hard. Um, you know, I, I see people who just don't care what happens to other people all the time. And I, I wonder what makes the difference. You know, why, why do some of us care and others just don't? I don't get it. But um, it is very upsetting, and and I live stress. I live it, and I have no resources anymore to get out of it. So I know what so many people, when they get their homes destroyed, their businesses destroyed, their farms destroyed, I know what it feels like. And I know what it feels like to do everything you can to get that life back and you can't and you're stuck. And then you have to face people who've never had that experience and they tell you what you should be doing. Um, it, it becomes your life actually becomes utter madness and every single day you're just trying you know to hold on um, and I I do want to apologize for my tone at times um, I wish that you know I I could have done things differently, yada, 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 but this is what I can do, and this is what I will do, and I've said it before, I will do it until the fat lady sings. And I can only do my best, and that is what I'm doing. So if I could be different, if I could, if I was living something different, I would be different. If I had the opportunity to take breaks, to uh, do something to lessen the stress, I would be doing it. I would be doing it. You know, you're not listening to someone who doesn't, uh, who just, you know, sits in what she has and, and loves it or, you know, loves to be stressed or, um, doesn't take opportunities that she has, you know, of course I would be doing what a whole lot of people tell me to do. You know, taking breaks, yeah. But when you don't have the experience of literally having your life destroyed, you have no clue what it's like. None. So, um, and you don't know what I have been through personally in real life. What I am living, my circumstances. Um, so, yeah. I, uh, I live something that not a lot of you are living. So it's hard when you get comments from people and you can read the presumptions, you can read it in their comment, they think I'm living what they're living. No, I'm not. That's one of the things that I've wanted to do was to get across to people that have not had the experience that when we see all of these lives getting destroyed by, well, weather, used as a weapon or the economy. No, it's not great. 
um, people going homeless, and then you read the comments about homeless people. Um, and then you so want them to get help. And you know that the only way for them to get help is for people to understand the experience and to to reach out. Communities come together, families come together. When people are not working through the problems that they have, when people don't work on their own personal issues that create such madness in relationship and and discord and distrust when they refuse to do that they're only contributing to this nightmare when people immediately you know uh, take account of what has happened stand accountable and then you know do what is a sincere apology, you know, speak a sincere apology, everything is lifted. Everything is better. And yes, that is what gives me hope. And I see so few people doing it. I've experienced so few people, you know, having the ability to even stand accountable for what they do. It's important. I will link below to my backup channel. I could be going down soon. I got this last week. Synagogue shooting. Police referred to suspect as actor repeatedly. Israel bombs Gaza 95 times. It was flagged by the YouTube community. Upon review, we have placed restrictions on how the video will be shown. Please note that your video will continue to be available on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Well, they erased, they deleted all the comments underneath that video. And um, listen to this. We believe in free expression. <laughs> really? Wow. Even when that expression is unpopular? Oh. Potentially offensive? Controversial or offensive? potentially, um, we may keep that video on YouTube, but we will disable features. Um, we will shadow ban it. We will delete all the comments of all of those people agreeing with my free expression. Um, and we'll put a warning message on it. Oh my God, this could, this could be offensive. This could hurt you, snowflake. This could go against what you believe. Oh my God! We have to protect people from that. Well, this is a sign of tyranny taking place and eventually we'll all be gone. So, it is It's only a matter of time. So I also got this. So when I see them coming in now, um, not, I can't say back to back, but, uh, well, if they're getting rid of these videos, I've got so many videos they can hit me with strikes, but I got a warning. Your content was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines. Your video response to Blackstone Intelligence Wolfgang Halbig hit piece, unconscionable, was removed. Yes, for harassment, threats, and cyberbullying policies. Why did I post that? I got upset at the lies that Blackstone Intelligence is at media was speaking about Sandy Hook and Halbig. And I presented evidence that he was lying. 
so it's gone. Um, and this, because it's the first time, this is just a warning. If it happens again, your channel will get a strike and you won't be able to do things like upload, post, or live stream for one week. A second strike will prevent you from publishing content for two weeks, three strikes, and it's a 90-day, yes, 90-day punishment. Dare I try to correct lies? Well, free expression is gone. Um, it's only a matter of time before your free expression is silenced. Very upsetting that this is taking place in our free country with our First Amendment rights. Oh, but YouTube is a private company, Carol, and they can do what they want. No. No, they can't, actually. And no, it's not a private company. I've posted videos with evidence showing that our government is behind these uh, social media platforms. Facebook, YouTube, Google. Uh, well, facts and evidence don't matter anymore. Can't believe the world we are living in what is happening to us collectively? We have, <laughs> well, without our fellow Americans all uniting with us, without their um, respect for truth, we can get nowhere. So we will be watching more and more Americans getting destroyed. What I have said numerous times throughout eight, eight years. It is very important for all of us to do the work necessary so that we better ourselves. And in so doing, we will begin to reestablish trust among one another, which is necessary for that uh, support we all need to get through this time. I have even spoken in real life to subscribers about what had happened to I don't know what happened. I, I'm shell shock actually. I live permanent shell shock with what has happened in terms of those subscribers that I have met. Not everyone, but most. The lying, the behaviors that they just refused to even do anything to, to try to stop lying, stop betraying, you know, um, And I even went so far to say, just even if it, you know, our relationship is done, fine, but do it for the collective here. Do it for, you know, this community. Um, they didn't care about that either. Now I see they're doing nothing, nothing at all. It's like they've gone back to sleep. They're ignoring everything. They don't care. I see their channels. Nothing on it. I'm like, okay, what happened? Well, what happened was they didn't want to change. They didn't want to do the work necessary to change. Not a thing. Even when things were so simple to clear up immediately, Nope, they had to be right, and that's all that mattered. Their ego, when you're, when you're living that low level of consciousness, you're about yourself. Oh, you may not think that, but you are about yourself. And when something happens, you've got to protect your ego. Um, and that's all that matters. So what you do is destroy trust, and you tell 
other people they're worthless. You tell other people that they didn't matter. They didn't you didn't they don't care about them. You know, when I read something like this, you know, it's not for any ego gratification on my part. It's like, ah, yes, this is what is needed. This comes from maturity. This comes from, you know, um, someone who didn't need to be right could recognize that, yeah, they didn't make that clear. They were, they wrote it on the spur of the moment. And because this has been resolved, the next time they're writing something on the spur of the moment, I bet she or he will think twice and be a little bit more careful. This part, this personal part, whether it's in the cyber world or in real life, matters. It's so important. Sorry for going on, but this is the piece that so many people just don't, they want to ignore it they, because you're not recognizing how serious it is. And while, you know, one comment, what's the big deal? No. First of all, it is a big deal because this person matters and I matter and the community matters. But when you're inundated with people attacking you and forcing upon you, you know, their opinion, their belief, and um, all that does is create more and more division, discord, and it leaves us all more and more isolated. My backup channel link is below. I hope you guys, I hope you guys um, subscribe because when a channel goes down, oof, it happens. Well, my last copy of Winston World went. It was a shock. Uh, one day it's fine. Next day, boom, 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 hit, gone. All right. So I hope that you all. I hope you all never have to experience your life being destroyed. But I hope that you take a step back and try to imagine what you would do. Now, there are a lot of people with family that's still intact and they do come together. There are some communities that when, you know, facing disaster, they do come together. There are a lot of people who have no one. No one. So try to imagine your home being destroyed. Everything that you thought might occur, your insurance company, FEMA, health, suddenly everything you relied on doesn't pan out. The people in your life that you relied on that you thought would always be there, suddenly they're not because that happens a lot as well. And I know subscribers who have gone through that. Their family, Harvey, you want to talk disaster? And suddenly they face their own family, turning their back on them, not showing no care, not helping them, when there wasn't any problem prior to that, it doesn't matter if there was a problem or not. There's something very wrong with families, clearly, um, who just ignore a disaster and don't help out. There's something very wrong with people who ignore people who are in need. So um, imagine how you might feel. How do you pick up the pieces? 
what do you do? It's happened already to millions and millions and millions of Americans. Just with these flood events and fires. Then think about the millions who, because of the economy, suddenly their life turns into a nightmare. Think about all of the people who have gone homeless, not because of what they have done, but because of the external forces working against them. And they doing everything that they could. And then having to face all of the Americans who have not had this experience judging you. Something's wrong with you. And that's why you're living this circumstance. And they turn their back on you because, well, you did it, so why should I help you? There's an awful lot of work that we need to do personally to change. And when we don't, we're on the wrong side. Stay safe.